Hey guys, this is David at Knuckles Farms. Welcome to today's video. I just want to go ahead and say this is an action-packed video from start to finish that you won't want to miss up to the very last minute. So we start off at the Woods Farm and we're about to tag some calves. We're getting ready to tag 601 and 612. Alright, Cole, y'all just, you just kind of, y'all just stay right there, okay? So this is 601 and her calf that we have tried on multiple occasions to tag. This is the closest we've ever gotten. And we still can't get it. Mama and the baby are still jumpy. wild it's just if, if the whole herd was here they'd be all right 601 she's nervous i don't really like that her her baby is that black and white faced and, and since she's had her baby she hadn't they haven't been with the herd you get one nervous one it makes them all nervous Hopefully they'll they'll hang around here while we go get the rest of the herd, and when they're all here, they'll probably calm down, and we might have a better chance of getting them now. So we're just gonna let the mamas eat. They need to eat. Six hundred one needs to eat. So we're just not gonna spook them or do anything crazy, and uh, we'll go get the other cows and try again. So right now during this time, we've got more calves being born than we can get tagged. Um, with me working during the week, during the winter time, when I get home, it's already dark. Uh, and when I leave in the mornings, it's the sun hadn't come up yet. So I don't have any time during the week um, to come check these calves. Um, so Saturdays are the only time. And because of that, a lot of them are, I mean, they're, they're being born every day. And so I can't remember, it says somewhere in the video, but we, um, we, I think we have about seven or eight calves that need to be tagged. Not to mention the, the ones that like 601 that haven't been tagged yet. Um, Cole is with us today. He's my 11 year old and he is, uh, he's doing a lot of the filming and, uh, and he's been a lot of help here. And, uh, I think you see him take advantage of, uh, a cow feeding here in a second. Hey, he gets him a little pet. <laughs> oh me, watch this. This calf kicks out. One. Two. Three. Three times, I think. Oh, and it's not even over. Just keep watching. Uh, me and this calf are about to do a little dance. One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> I'm getting uh, a little 
frustrated. Finally. And then we had a hard time getting it unhooked. There we go. Cav, the cows say they've had enough. They're out of here. So after we fed the cows, I saw this calf bedded down in the woods next to the creek and it didn't come up. So I was thinking it was a newborn, but it sprung up and wouldn't let me get anywhere near it. Um, but I wanna use this time to talk about the next clip you're about to see. We catch 601's calf taking a nap and I sneak up on it and try to hook it and you'll you're about to see what happens here <laughs> yeah this calf is not meant to be caught so seriously it's not even funny anymore So after a rather unsuccessful trip to the woods farm, we have now headed home and we're going to try our luck at the home farm. We have several calves here that need to be tagged as well and we're hoping for better luck this time. Uh, here we're, we're just uh, leading them up to our feedlot. Um, we're, we're set up better at the home farm to, to get them up in a pen and uh, get them in a fairly confined area so that we can we can tag them. They can't run away from us this way. So here's our first attempt. And um, let's see how it goes. There's that beautiful silver calf again. You saw her, you saw us tag her on the Sunday video. So far, so good. Vocal and putting up a fight. Getting better one handed with that camera and pole. We did good. All right, I think there's one more in here. Right there. I just don't know where his mama is. 714, I think. But I've got to learn to keep my mouth shut. I think I just jinxed us.
No, she went on three. She's on the other side. There she goes. <laughs> stayed away for a while so we had to put the camera down we couldn't hold the calf and film at the same time mama was extremely nervous uh wouldn't get anywhere um away from her baby uh we did get the calf tagged uh but it was quite a bit of work to do uh so we hate we couldn't get that on film but uh, sometimes we just need more hands. Alright, so we're two for two now on these calves, and now we're going for our third. This calf right here was born huge. Uh, the mother was, uh, we were expecting her to, to have a calf any day now for like two or three weeks. And uh, finally, she had this bull calf here, and uh, he is a hoss. Um, he uh, he leads me around the yard a little bit before I can finally hook him here. But uh, but this little guy put up a fight, um, and I don't want to sp spoil what's about to happen, um, but all I can really say is is. Uh, we had to have all hands on deck, so Amy could not hold the camera and hold the catch pole also while I tagged. Um, this calf just flat out wore us all out, including him. So sit back and enjoy this. That calf was just born not too long ago. It's twice as big as some of these calves that have been born for two weeks. Peeing all over the place. It's okay, Mama. I wish we had the video of this because the sound effects are awesome.
Think. Warming out. Oh, yeah. That calf we're guessing is less than a week old. It's a bull calf, but he's huge. Of course, Amy's been saying 004 should have had a calf for about, what, a month now? Yeah. So I don't know if she, if she was late or if just the calf was just that big to begin with. Uh, but anyway, that's a huge calf. Looks like she didn't have any trouble with it. But you look around at some of these other calves, they're about two weeks old and they're half the size of that bull calf. So I don't know. Anyway, we got what, two, three tags today? Three here at the home farm. Yep. One tagged at the woods farm. So we got four down, at least seven to go that we know of and there's a couple of cows that aren't here that we're gonna go look for more than likely two more have been added on so one step forward two steps back we'll, we'll get there we'll get there signing off so we drive up on them and 304 is laying down I see a, what looks to be a lifeless calf and a coyote runs off and it doesn't it's not adding up to be good, but the baby just raised its head up, so I don't know if we'll be able to tag it or not, but I'm going to be prepared to. So after taking care of the three calves in the feedlot, we find these two mama cows off to themselves, and they both have new calves that need to be tagged. I'm pretty sure I can't get both of them. So I go for the, uh, the youngest one, which should be the easiest. Little did I know that was not what the mama cow had in store. Oh, she just had that one. of people talking about their life flashing before their eyes. <laughs> okay. I don't know who was more concerned, me or that mama cow. I promise you, I wanted to be done just as fast as this mama cow wanted us to be done. Well, we were four for four, but not before being scared to death. So I'm ready to call it a day. Well, she's a good mama. She was concerned. The other one's high-tailed it over the ridge, so we're not gonna get that one today. So 113 still, still gotta be tagged. But anyway, another one down.